All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic is about something supposedly the Muslims they claim that Muhammad he said, and that statement is that Muhammad he said, the prophet of Islam, uh, that seek knowledge even if it is in China. I'm not going to discuss if this statement is coming really from Muhammad or not for now. I want to discuss I want to discuss this statement as if it's true how in the world a Muslim he accept that he have a prophet saying to him seek knowledge even in China but yet the Muslim they say to us Muhammad himself do not know how to read and how to write And why the Muslims, they like this hadith. You know, isn't it weird that we have a guy, he did not give himself like, I mean, I can teach Muhammad Arabic in two, three weeks, four weeks. He's an Arab guy already. So he speak Arabic is going to be really not hard to teach him how to read, how to write, because this is his language. So the one who taught me or he advised me to go and seek knowledge even if it is in China can't he himself give the effort to learn how to read how to write and yet he is a teacher supposedly we are talking about somebody he claimed to be a prophet how he is a prophet but yet he cannot read and write as Muslims this is not this is not my statement so this statement about seek knowledge even in China, I mean, this is very fishy and very stupid. Because the one who said that he himself he did not seek it even in different in, in, in the next door. Let us say Muhammad he do not know how to write how to read from all the followers he have he could not ask us somebody like the scribe the, Muhammad he had many scribes they write for him the Quran as the Muslim report for us and one of them got Muhammad busted Ibn Sarah and he left Islam. When, when he said a statement and Muhammad asked him to add it in the Quran, but he told him, this is what I said, it's not Quran. I said that. He said, okay, Allah, he said it to me like the same. So right away, he discovered that Muhammad is a scam. So can't he ask the scribe, which he is ordering to write the Quran for him, to teach him how to read, how to write? But yet he is saying to us to go and seek knowledge even in China. So, if there is any Muslim would like to, you know, uh, uh, come forward and explain to us, do you really believe that this is a true hadith and your prophet he said that? And where we can find the hadith? Where we can find the hadith? You know, uh, I will find you the hadith. But then the Muslims will have a problem with it. Do we have any Muslim? He can tell us where we can find this hadith. If this hadith is accepted by the Muslims, is it really accepted by you? And if it is accepted, why Muhammad did not practice what he said? Or this is exactly What Muslims like to say to us and spread a lie. Who is the Muslim who want to show me where this hadith I can be found? Me myself, I found it, but not in where the Muslims like to be found. Do we have any Muslim would like to show me where we can find this hadith and why it is posted all over the internet? Yet Muslims cannot find me the hadith. How come when we show them reference and we show them something real, the Muslim they say it is weak? 
oh, you know, this is not true. We show them their website, we show them the hadith, we show them the reference, we show them the number. But yet, when they say they make a statement about Muhammad like this, nobody requests a number. Nobody need a number. Any Abdul? Where we can find the hadith it says go and seek knowledge in China. But you know the Muslims what happened when something would make their prophet look nicer, so they, they sponsor it. Oh, the prophet is encouraging us to go and seek knowledge. You Muslims, you burn books wherever you go. You see all the propaganda about Muslims, uh, what they did in Andalusia, Andalusia, and this uh, this is all is a lie. You know, Ibn Khaldun, who is a Muslim, and he is a philosopher, he exposed all those lies. He said when the Arab came to Andalusia, explaining what he did in Damascus and Andalusia, he said when they come, the Arab they don't mind to burn a library or a palace to use the wood or the papers of those books to cook on them. They don't mind because they don't know how to read how to write most of them the Muslims they fabricate stories and they don't complain about the fabrication they do we show them read the stories and they complain about stories we show them from their books now, I am here to challenge any Muslim to show me this hadith. And this hadith is going to be shown from where and is it accepted by Muslims? What Muhammad said about science, or let us say knowledge, is very funny and very stupid. Have nothing to do with China. He said, seeking knowledge is a duty upon every Muslim, and he, he uh, who imparts knowledge to those who do not deserve it, it's like one who puts a necklace of jewels, pillar, uh, uh, pillars and gold around the neck of a swine. Why? What do you mean if somebody doesn't deserve it? Simply because Muhammad here is not even talking about knowledge of science, he's talking about knowledge of religion. But the Muslims, they switch what they are talking about, what Muhammad talking about, to make it about chemistry and what Muhammad know about chemistry and what Muhammad have to do with all those garbage. This is about knowledge. And this knowledge is about God. This is why the Quran divide the people between two kinds. People of the book and the illiterate. People of the book, they were the Christians and the Jews. Why they are people of the book? Because they have a knowledge. Knowledge about what? Knowledge about God, not about science. Not about mathematics and chemistry and astronomy. This is, this guy supposedly he is a prophet of God. The Muslim, they try their best to make him a scientist. However, Muhammad himself, he tried to make himself a scientist. As an example, you know, he want to tell us how the baby come to exist. So he said, that who, uh, uh, how the gender come to exist. So he says, if the woman, if the man or have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl, which is very stupid. But this China thing, I want the Muslim to show me the Hadith. In which book we can find the Hadith, it's saying, seek knowledge in China. Anyone? Any Muslim? You see, I will show you a Muslim website. A Muslim website speaking about this hadith. Read with me, Muslims. Read with me the title. 
the hadith that the prophet he said seek knowledge even if it's in china is a lie <laughs> it is a lie it is what it is a lie if you go right now and search for the title of my video you will find this is posted by every single abdul in the world but in their their own you see when we speak in arabic it's different when we speak in english in english we you know it's it is time for deception but there is no such a hadith it's a lie copy paste copy paste copy paste how come not even a single muslim he want to show us where we get this hadith from i want to read it you can find this hadith in a, in a book it's called da'if al jami'ah what is that da'if al jami'ah It's a collection, supposedly, of lies about the Prophet. This is why the scholars here, this is fatwa number 13637. It says, It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure why. All right, is my screen coming now? Let me know, please. I know for some reason, you know, when I'm doing broadcast, and I, I upgrade my, my speed, internet speed to the maximum I can get. So it doesn't make sense. I'm not sure why, you know. So always you need to be noticed or you need to notice that when the Muslim, they speak about what they call uh, a fact, 99% of the Muslim's facts, it's a lie. And seeking knowledge even in China is a lie. Have nothing to do with Muhammad. Muhammad did not ask the Muslims to seek knowledge in China and he was according to Muslim a person who did not seek knowledge in the coming in the next village because Muhammad he claimed to be the scientist of the town he is Dr. Muhammad he is engineer Muhammad he is the, the astronomer he is uh, the, the, the he, he, he knows everything Muhammad he knows everything like what he, he, do you know where the sun goes Abu Dhar? Abu Dhar was behind Muhammad in, the, in his donkey do you know where the sun goes? No, I do not know where the sun goes. Where? Allah and his prophet knows best. Hmm? Muhammad, the astronomer. Muhammad, you want to teach us where the sun goes? Why Muhammad, you want to go to China? This guy, he bring China to him. He bring the sun to him. Once I was with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the prophet said, Oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? The guy, he said, no, prophet, I do not know where the sun set. You know better. Allah and his prophet knows best. You see, uh, Muslims, they, they are mushrikeen. The Muslims, they associate the name of Allah and the knowledge of Allah with the name with, with the knowledge of the prophet. I mean, this guy, is he's a prophet or he's God? How he is a prophet and you say, the, you know, you, uh, Allah and the prophet knows best. <laughs> It's hard to believe, huh? Allah and He is a prophet knows best. Okay, who is who is Allah and who is the prophet? 
And who is the one who knows best? How Muhammad knows best the same as Allah? And then Muhammad keep talking and he explained to us where the sun goes in the sunset. The sun goes every day. I eat travel from here to there. Here we go. This is Dr. Muhammad. Do we have any Muslim have a comment? Look like we don't have any Muslim here, right? Do we have anyone? Now I came late, really, just to answer this. Uh, somebody sent it to me. Uh, I was I was working in uh, our the, my German book, and uh, we just submit the book the book to the publisher, and this book will be ready. I hope in the coming forty eight hours for those who speak German. All right. So if you are a person who speaks German, or you know a friend who speaks German, uh, this book is a translation for uh, our book, uh, Quran and Science. And the good thing is, the translator who translated this book, he did a great job. You know, let me show you the cover of the book. This is how the cover look like. Let us see. So I just uh, we just uh, finish uh, submitting this uh, cover and etc. Whatever needed uh, to the publisher. Uh, this is how uh, the book look like. This is the background with with uh, with Arabic text and thunder because supposedly this book speaking about science. I'm trying just to show you like the cover. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm scrolling down with the image. All right. So this book will be, I, I hope, maybe maybe less, maybe less than 48 hours will be in Amazon, Amazon.com, and maybe it take maybe a day or two after to be in Amazon Germany. Now it doesn't matter really where you purchase the book from, Amazon German Germany or Amazon. I think uh, .com is going to be the same uh, as. Uh, uh, I mean, as uh, as shipping, I think shipping will be. Uh, I think shipping is free in Germany, right? If you purchase from Amazon, yeah. Anyway, uh, so this is a good news. Finally, we have this book is out, and I hope soon we will have my other two books, which about uh, sex and Allah, will be out soon. And uh, we are waiting just for the person who is doing the the final touches for the file, the PDF file, you know, to make it ready for publishing. So I hope soon we will have that ready to go uh, which means this month we will have three books published which is very good uh, do we have any uh, any Muslim here Well, translation to other languages. Actually, there is a language I am trying to get a translator for it, which is Chinese, but I could not get anyone yet. And then, you know, like uh, uh, when I was in China, I met many, but none of them, his English is qualifying him or her to translate. Their English is very poor. You know, Chinese people, generally speaking, they have a very poor uh, English. And the one, if you find a Chinese who speak good English, usually his Chinese is poor which means like somebody maybe he's born in USA or you know uh, like some of them they know how to talk Chinese but they do not know the language the grammar the writing etc like there's many uh, Arab uh, who live in America they speak Arabic but they do not know how to write Arabic or their writing is horrible so when you translate you need someone who have a strong knowledge in both uh, yeah, uh, Kao Liu, if you want us to give you a, a ban you from the channel, post those red dots because they are funny and stupid. So I don't know why you are doing that, but if you want us to ban you, we will ban you. It doesn't matter really. So guys, we go back to the topic. Uh, Muhammad, he is saying, seek knowledge in China. Did Muhammad go to China to find out where the sun set? What about sending his God to China to learn where the sun set? If we go in the Quran, we will find Muhammad saying that Allah telling us where the sun set. You remember the story of Zulqurnayn? 
الإسلام دين ليث مذهب Islam is not a deen, Islam is not a sect, Islam is a joke. Mr. God is scientific. Are you a Muslim? God is scientific. Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, you would like to call me for free. Let me let me turn my Skype on. So in case any Muslim on a call. Islam is not a religion because you know to uh, to uh, to call Islam a religion you have to have the qualification of a religion Islam is a religion without rules everything in it is a uh, theft uh, Islam is religions not religion it's a collection of of many religions and Muhammad he copied from everybody you know Muhammad he copy from everybody my 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 skype is open uh, if any muslim okay record me people will find allah in the live now we have a muslim here like he's posting for me Post to me a lot of text. Ah, this is the same guy that yesterday we, we made him shish kebab. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is the same guy. Anyway. Do we have any Muslim in the text would like to call us? Our Skype is on. If you like to call me, feel free. Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, my Skype is uh, debate TV. It's very simple. You see it in the corner of the screen. All right. It's one word, feel free to call. Do we have any Muslim? How Islam can be even considered as a religion, and this religion is teaching us that the sun set under the throne of Allah, and the sun is moving every day at the sunset from point A to point B, and is going to take, uh, take a nap under the throne of Allah, overnight and then wake up in the morning and ask Allah permission to come back this is a religion how Islam can be a religion teaching stupid things no okay well, you are corner it's no problem guys this guy he is not a hadith person no problem call me I will show you from the Quran because this is in the in the Quran this is not hadith who said this is hadith Muhammad is quoting for you the Quran don't you read and we can show you that the sun sit under the throne of Allah and the set sat in a set in a place in the Quran. In the Quran. You see, actually, the, the, the Muslims, when they say to you, we follow Quran only, some of them, this is a new fashion style to get away from the stupidity of Muhammad. That's the whole idea. They found that their prophet says stupid things, and the Quran. Is more confusing book and we can get around with it and we say oh, it doesn't say that but you cannot do that with me call me and let us see what the Quran say call me feel free to call it's a great sign a great sign to see Muslims saying we don't believe in the hadith no more that's mean the Muslims are getting smarter and they are rejecting Islam but step by step today they reject the hadith tomorrow they reject the Quran and this is what happened to many of those who left Islam in the beginning they reject the hadith in the beginning they reject the behavior in the beginning they reject the killing and then you end finding yourself rejecting all of Islam because everything is connected And I challenge anyone to say to me how he can be a follower of the Quran. Where we can find in the Quran the five prayer? 
where we can find that in the Quran where we can find in the Quran how much you have to pay uh, your uh, zakat where in the Quran we find that you cannot do muta no more Quran says you can do muta so do you do muta do you go still and rent women for sex are you a Quran only if you are a Quran only, then you are going to go and allow your sister, allow your wife, I'm not trying to insult, you have to allow them to go and rent their private part for money. This is muta in the Quran. Do you follow that? So when they say to us, we are Quran only, they are just trying to get away from the stupidity and the madness and the dirt and the garbage not because they are proud because you know why why we Christians we don't say we are not we are a New Testament only you know what I mean guys where why we can we Christian don't say oh we are New Testament only why we don't say that uh, the book of Exodus is uh, fabricated, Genesis is fabricated. Eh? Why we don't do that? This is a sign that you don't like it, obviously, and you're trying to get away with it. So you say, I don't accept that. So what do you accept? Oh, I am, I accept only the New Testament. And that's mean you are a person who is trying to create a new religion, it's not exist. Christianity since the start, Jesus himself he said, I am I came to approve. To complete, not to destroy. So uh, 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 the the gentleman there, who his name is God, is scientific. What is scientific about your God, Mister God? Is scientific. What is scientific about Allah? Can you tell me? I can show you tons tons of stupid mistakes and madness. Your God, Allah, He said in the Quran. Madness. What is scientific about Allah? Why the birds don't fail? Why the birds are not failing according to the Quran? Quran. I'm not talking about the hadith. Do you know, guys, why? No, Islam is not a religion. Islam is a collection of religions. What is the religion? What is the rules of Islam? There's no rules. What is Islam? There's no Islam. There's nothing. What Islam? Tell me. Do you know what Islam? Nothing. Who is Allah? You do not even know. If I ask you right now, who is Allah? Do you have a, do you, can you give me, can you tell me who is he? Or what you will tell me, oh, he is the creator. <laughs> well, I thank you very much. I'm asking you who is he? Who is Allah? You don't even know. You don't know. What Allah mean? What the word Allah mean? Do you know? You don't know. Not even a single Muslim knows what the word Allah mean. Have you ever heard of people they worship God? They do not know what his name means. But the answer is very simple. Because everything in this religion is a theft, including the name of their God. If we ask a Muslim in the Quran, it says Israel. Who is Israel? He doesn't know. He have to go and search the hadith. He have to search the books of the scholars. Like this guy here, the gentleman here in the text, he said to us, oh, you know what? I follow only Quran. Okay, can you tell me who is Israel? Based as long as you are following, following the Quran only. As long as you are following Quran only. Look like somebody trying to call. Who is Israel? Do you know? We don't know. Who, who is this guy? What Israel mean? What Israel mean? I challenge one Muslim to tell me what Israel mean. You don't know. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. I had a question which is a little off the topic. I hope you would answer. Uh, actually, I don't understand the concept of namaz in Islam. For example, most of us do concept not know what? Arabic. Sorry, sorry. But, uh, concept of what? Uh, the concept of namaz, salat, prayer. Salat, okay. Yes, so most of us do not understand Arabic, but we have to recite Arabic words, for example, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahim. I don't even know what does that mean. And then we have to recite verses like 
kul yayul kafirun la abudu ma tabudun i don't understand what they are but it's still i have to so is it also a copied myth or copied from some other religion namaz or it's muhammad made up i don't know if you could clarify you see, everything is is a is a copy however most of this prayer the muslims they pray is meaningless because muhammad he was trying just to make a rub song he you know like that like you, you mentioned to me the chapter of al kafirun if we go and we yes. and we check this chapter, uh, uh, you know, you will see how stupid, how silly it is. Let me go right away there and uh, go to Al Kafirun uh, verse. All right, which is one of the most funny verses in the Quran. I mean, yes, to you be your religion and to be me mine. Yeah, there is no meaning of it. Let us see here, and actually, that will will prove to you right away that this is cannot be a religion because this guy is saying nothing here. What 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 did, what the point of this uh, statement? Uh, you know, like uh, uh, this website. And in in fact, when we are praying to God, so what's the purpose of reciting this verse? Yeah. No, there is a purpose, supposedly. There is a purpose that he is teaching them what to how to answer. But the, All the, right, but, but most yeah, of us do not uh, understand. For I... yes, but still, it doesn't make sense anyway. You know, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Uh, here we go, chapter one o nine, verse number two. If we go and read this chapter, I hope it's uh, it's clear for everybody. See. Oh, you yes, who reject yes. faith. The, fa the fact, by the way, it doesn't say reject faith. It says those who they are kuffar. Kuffar is is an insult. It's not really kuffar mean liars, the one who hide the truth. It's not just reject faith. I worship not what you worship, nor you will worship what I which I worship, and you I will not worship that you have been want to worship, nor you will worship which <laughs> I worship. <laughs> You have your worship. I have mine. I mean, what's a stupid? So this is a prayer. Let me make it. Make let, let me. Let me, let me make it. Let me make it simple. I will. I will change. I will change the word worship with the word eat. I eat not what you eat, and you will not eat what I will eat, and I will not eat what you eat. So you do not eat what I eat, and I will never eat what you eat because you have your food. I have mine. It's like a transistor. I mean, who in the world will believe that this is a prayer of God? And actually. If you read it carefully, you will find that Muhammad he just made a false prophecy, because he said, "I worship not what you worship." We know right that Muhammad he did satanic verses. Then he says, hmm. "Nor you will worship what I worship." But those people later they convert to Islam, all of them. And I will not worship which you have been want to worship. And again, this is proof that he is false because he did the satanic verses. And then, nor you will worship what I worship again, repeating the same strip. I mean, didn't you say to them this? I, you will not worship what you I worship already. Why you are repeating this again? Yes, what's the purpose of repeating? Because he have nothing to say. He have nothing to say. I eat falafel, you eat not. You know, I eat what you don't eat, and you will not eat what I eat. <laughs> so I will not eat what you eat, and you will never eat what I eat because I have not eat you what you eat, and you will and then eat. So I have my food, you have yours. Thank you very much. This is God. All of this Stupid. proven Muhammad to be a false prophet because he is giving us a prophecy that he will not worship their God and the proof in the Quran Muhammad did worship their God and shaitan he gave him satanic verses and he praised the three daughters of Allah and not only that hmm. Muhammad was a person who worshipped Allah before Islam for 40 years Allah was the pagan God anyway and Muhammad kissed the black hmm. stone before Islam and after Islam and Muhammad here is saying you will not worship what I worship, making a prophecy that those people they will never convert to Islam, but all of them they converted to Islam when he when they lost mm. the war with him. So it's a stupid statement from somebody trying to make a rabbi music. You know, I like falafel, you don't <laughs> like falafel. She likes falafel, I don't like falafel. And because I like falafel and she don't like falafel, therefore she will never like falafel, and I will never like what she like because I like falafel and she don't <laughs> like falafel. And let me tell you something. I will eat falafel, and you will not. I will not eat what you eat, and you will not eat my falafel. Thank you very much. Allah statement, Quran. What is this? Uh, where, where is uh It's it's a Meccan surah. Huh? 
It's a Meccan surat. I don't understand what. Meccan Mecca Meccan surat. Who care if it's Meccan surahs? I mean, the, 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 like who, who care who care when the person have a diarrhea? Diarrhea is a diarrhea. He have it in Mecca. He have it in Medina. It doesn't <laughs> it doesn't matter, my friend. Like if it's Mecca, it's going to it's going to be better. I mean, I mean it's it's a stupid anyway. And this is a this is a chapter. Yeah. The one here is talking is Allah supposedly. Is that is that a, a is that the lawyer who advise you what to say to them? This is the lawyer. <laughs> it's like you know you go to the court and the lawyer told me, I say to you, to hold those you reject my my my, uh, uh, my objection, I will not witness for what you witness, and you will not witness for what I witness <laughs> because I will not witness for what you witness, and you will never witness for what witness because you nor you will witness for what I witness, and nor I will witness for witness for you have have been witnessing and I have mine. I mean what. <laughs> This is madness. This is stupidity. This is a collection of stupidity. And the funny, our friend there in the text, he said to us, he said to us, "You have your way, and to me, mine." And what he said, "You have your your dean, I have mine." Like supposedly, it's different. You have who care? I mean, how you say I have my religion and you have yours? You know what the point? Mm. What the point? And later Muhammad did he leave them alone? He killed them all. If he, you know, if if you hear this verse, you will think that Muhammad he don't want to kill those people. He don't care if they believe or not. I have my you you have your religion. I have mine. Okay, that sound like fine. But this guy he killed them for not believe, believing in his religion. He made a chatter says kill those who don't believe in Allah, <laughs> especially from the Christians and the Jews. So what do you mean you have your religion? I have mine. And where is the proof mm -hmm. now? Are, are you trying to convince them that you are a prophet by saying such a statement that I have your religion, you have mine, I will not believe in what you believe, and I will not believe when you will believe? Mm -hmm. So here we have we have a lack of intelligence, and uh, uh, you know, uh, all what you need, just ask yourself a few questions, and we will see Muhammad is making stupid things. Yeah. Again, so you can ask my dean. first question: That is namaz uh, copied from pagan myths. Like, uh, is it was it a practice of Sabians? What is that? Uh, namaz was it a practice I of Sabians? What, the, namaz. what those, namaz? What namaz mean? What namaz? I mean the salat prayer. Oh, I don't know what namaz mean. I first, you know, so say salat. Okay, prayer. So the prayer. Uh, the abolition is copy from from the Sabian and he copy other stuff, you know, like you know, uh, some he from the Jews, Muhammad, he was trying to make things up. So he copied from the Sabian how to do abolition, how to do uh, to prepare for the prayer. But his prayer is mixed between the Jews, the Sabian, and other beliefs which is exist, uh, you know, around him at that time. It's a collection, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, like uh, even the Adhan. Which is the Muslim? They say Allahu Akbar. They call for the adhan. It was a suggestion from somebody saying one of them. He said, "Let us make a bell." They said, "No, no, no. The bell is what the Jews and the Christian they use. Uh, let us make it, uh, uh, etc. Let us make light, light. You know, turn like uh, have a light on. People they would know it's time for a prayer. They said, "No, no. This, this is what the Jews do. Let us do this. Let us do this." So then, one, you know, Omar he said, "Let us do the adhan. Let us do Allahu Akbar, and people would hear." Muhammad he accept so where is God why Allah don't is inspire Muhammad to tell him how to do call for a prayer who is Omar Omar is the prophet Allah inspire Omar no yeah so everything in Islam is coming from somewhere when Muhammad he make verses or he have verses about the divorce hmm? who is the one who said the, the, mm. the verses Omar Omar he threat his wives if you don't the wives they were having a strike against Muhammad. He told them, "If you don't behave, Allah will replace them. Allah will replace you. Allah will exchange you." So Muhammad he took exactly what Omar he said. This is why in the Hadith Omar he says that Allah he agree with me. Allah he agree with me. So Quran is also a collection of Omar's word. It's a collection for everybody, as I said. It's coming from everybody. Omar he makes some some from the Christians, some from the Warak of the Nufal. Some from every some, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the, yeah. I believe the only things Muhammad he have is the most stupid ones. The more stupid <laughs> it is, yeah, the more stupid you see because 
if you if you take my like let, let us say you take a page from my book I, I will compare myself to the stupid one in this case if you take a page of my book and now I wrote a book in English and you put one page of my book in the book of Shakespeare aren't you going to tell right away that this is cannot be Shakespeare of course of course so here your literary styles will be very different because simply my English skills is different too right mm. My English skills are not qualified to be in the book of Shakespeare when it's come to English. So right away you will say to yourself, yes. how in the world these pages exist here? Mm. And then they will say to you, oh, this is a, a, an Arab Christian. His name is a Christian prince. So <laughs> this is exactly how you know that Muhammad is not qualified to be in many places in the Quran because the Quran is a collection of stupidity. Anything mm. like when... Different when, styles of writing are there. <laughs> Say again a different styles of writing are there in the Quran like some chapters are very well written while others are not so good some chapter most of the chapters actually 90% of the Quran is a stupid but anyway but let us say there's some <laughs> verses there the Arabic structure is good and it's fine but mostly the Quran is a stupid like you know starting from the Quran how Allah he say in the name of Allah yeah bismillah rahman rahim i mean this is number the, the 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 chapter number one verse number one in the quran allah he says in the name of allah the gracious the sustainer that? in the world and then he says most gracious most merciful and then he says master of judgment day and then he say thee do we worship and then aid we seek who is seeking who here who is talking <laughs> allah is saying thee do we worship who's we yeah so if if this is would be right then in the front we have to add say pray like this say like this but there's no say there's no pray like this so now what does that mean simply what Muhammad he was trying he was trying to, to copy the Christians our father out of heaven yeah and this is why they added in the beginning if you look at this uh, you know show us the straight way you know, show us the straight way. Mm -hmm. The do we, we worship and thin aid we seek. You know, and then mm -hmm. you know we as a Christian we says like uh, uh, forgive us for our sin the same as you forgive to others. Here Muhammad he replaced that says, oh okay, you know what? Uh, forgive us our sin, put our your grace on us, and don't make us the same as those who they are lost and those who they are cursed, which means the Christian and the Jews. This is <laughs> this is our Father out of heaven. With some spices and some salt from here and there to change the look but muhammad obviously so is that caught. he may not be caught right yeah, yeah. so anyway uh, uh, uh the quran um, from the beginning to the end is a, is a is a chain of stupidity and here i am here to change the muslims to show me that i'm wrong you know, the, there's the, a Quran the, only Muslim in the comment section. I guess God is a scientific fact. So, what is the, uh, what are the problems that one would face if he says that he's a Quran only Muslim? I don't know how he can. Anyone can follow the Quran anyway. I mean, the Quran is uh, there. There's nothing in the Quran. How you can follow the Quran? And there's same time. Uh, uh, I want to see the one who followed the Quran. How he can explain the Quran for us? Because in order to follow Quran, in order to follow a book, you have to explain it, right? Mm. Okay, how you can explain a book written in a language you don't speak, written in a language even for me as an Arab, full of words we have no idea what it is. Mm. Because Muhammad he was coming with words nobody knows what they mean. So even Muhammad in the Quran he says this is a book. Have two parts. Part is a clear, and I don't know which one is the clear one. Let me know if you know. And part <laughs> is nobody knows what it means. Save Allah. Okay, you follow the Quran. If Muhammad himself saying to you that this Quran have part of it, we don't know how big, how small, that nobody knows what it means, save Allah. So how you can follow the Quran in a book, nobody knows what it means, save Allah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to follow a book. Nobody knows what is hiding meaning, save Allah. Read with me. Seeking and a discord and searching for it is hiding meaning. People are what are searching for it is hiding meaning, but no one knows it is hiding meaning save Allah except Allah. Then the Muslim they say, Oh, 
after that it says and those who they are firmly guarded in knowledge this is not this is a different sentence and those who they are firmly in knowledge they say what they say they say we believe not the one who knows knowledge which mean in Islam to be a scholar is about you say we believe in the book but not knowing the meaning of the book and that yeah. explain why Muhammad he said that because simply he's a thief they ask him what does this mean he didn't know no one knows save Allah even the you are a prophet and you do not know so who is going to know yeah of course you know the uh, uh, if I still uh, if like now I just published my book in German for sure I don't hmm. speak German but let us say I, I I claim that I am the one who made the book in German right and then you speak to me hmm. in German hmm. what I will say you will say to me like uh, I have no idea what you just said to me and then I said to you oh the, the answer for your question no one knows what it's mean save Allah to avoid yeah. the exposure that I am just a thief I am stealing somebody work putting it in my book mm. and I have no idea how to answer it Allah yeah. knows best you know yeah Allah alam in Arabic yeah Allah alam yeah and you know, uh, 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 there is a guy. Are you done with your questions? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank, you, uh, thank you very much, my friend. Let us see if uh, we can get you, some Muslims to call again. All right. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You know, uh, I have this guy. You remember the guy I gave him a shower yesterday? Or, you know, yeah, it was yesterday. He sent me this. Exodus 6:20. Amram married his father's sister, and she bore him Arun Musa's. And length of Amram life was 100 years, 30. Then Amrun, uh, uh, Amun, said to Tamar, "Bring the food uh, into the bedroom that I may eat from your hand." So Tamar, Tamar took her cakes and like. <laughs> The Muslim want to say to us that in the Bible, my friend, there is incest, my friend, my friend. People, they sleep with their sisters, my friend. You stupid idiot. Your prophet is a person who slept with his daughter-in-law. And your stupid prophet, he believed that Amram is the father of Mary. You see, when the Muslims, when the Muslims say something, they shoot their prophet in his ass. How you say to me that this is exist in the in Exodus 6 20 and Amram is married to his father sister and then he bore Arun and Musa's and then we go in the Quran we find that your stupid prophet he said that Mary her father is Amram so the Abdul is worried about somebody marrying his sister but he is not worried as he claimed but he is not worried about his prophet being a stupid Claiming that Mary, she is the daughter of Amram and she is the, the sister of Harun and the sister of Moses. <laughs> you see, when when uh, when Muslims they speak about ethic, you think that those people believe in ethic. Oh, the Bible is teaching, uh, you know, incest. Oh, brother, oh, brother. Okay, come, come. Let us let us uh, call us so we can laugh at you. Call us and we'll show you how stupid you are. Copy paste nation. It's you Muslims who believe in, in incest. And I can show you right now as we speak. According to Islam, if you are a person who have a daughter out of marriage, you can have sex with your daughter, which she is out of marriage and with her mother if we go to the chapter which it says chapter 25 verse number 52 وَهَوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ مِنَ الْمَاءِ بَشَرَ فَجَعَلَهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا if we go and try to find the meaning of this verse, we will find that the Muslims believe with no 
I mean, the majority of the Muslims, the scholars, all of them. And they say that this is according to the correct opinion of Islam. That a man, if he have a daughter from outside marriage, he can have sex with his daughter. And the mother of his daughter. And just to show you, we don't make things up. Hold on. We don't make things up. <clears throat> this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You are talking about ethic, you idiot. You stupid. You donkey. Let us say for the sake of argument, somebody have sex with his sister. Somebody have sex even with his mother. Somebody even rape his mother. There's a huge difference between somebody he do something and somebody God told him to do that. In your religion, it's your God. Read with me carefully. And those who speak Arabic, the Muslims, read with me carefully. And please get me busted if I'm lying. This is... The chapter we mentioned for you, chapter 25, verse number 54. What does that mean? You see the guy, the gentleman who said to us he's a Quran only. Well, what does that mean? Can you explain to us? Explanation is required in order to follow the religion. So now the Muslims, they need explanation. They cannot find the explanation in the Quran because the Quran is a plain book, stupid book. We go down. Al Qurtubi is one of the greatest scholars of Islam. Look what he said. Nasaban wasahira and Nasab wasahir ma'nayan ya immani kulla qurba takuna bayna adamiyin. The word Nasab and Sahar mean relationship and lineage between uh, 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 any, any people who have relationship between a human being. Ibn al Arabi said, Ibn al Arabi, one of the biggest scholars in Islam too. And Nasab wa ibara an khalti al ma'i bayna al dhakari wal untha. Nasab or the lineage, you know, is happening by mixing the water of the man, the male, and the, the water of the female, according to Sharia Allah. According to Sharia Allah. So if it was by disobedient, which means adultery, this is was just a creation. Absolute creation, no, no, no lineage. And it is not a certain lineage. Therefore, it's not going to go under the statement of Allah where he says it is forbidden for you it's it th therefore it is not going under this band where the Quran says it's forbidden for you your mother and your daughter why for she is his daughter from adultery so what he's saying Islam forbid the man from having sex with his daughter but if it is a daughter from adultery, she is not forbidden for him. He can have sex with her. Because she is not considered as a daughter for him, according to the most accurate opinion of the scholars in the religion and the scholarship. And because if there is no certain lineage by Sharia Allah then there is no marriage and no forbidden so what is forbidden by halal which is me lawful is not forbidden by what is not lawful so he's saying therefore it is not forbidden for him to have fornication imagine they gave it they call it fornication it's not for forbidden for him to have fornication with his daughter and the mother of his daughter. Now, the gentleman who was texting in Arabic, the guy who is a Muslim, who said God is scientific, are you there? He's a Muslim, he speaks Arabic, he was texting in Arabic, unless he is using Google. What do you say, Muslims? So the Muslim, when they speak about incest in the Bible, this is a joke. I can show you where your God, he asked the children of Adam, To give offering 
so he can divide which one he can sleep with the other sister but I understand this is in the time of Adam but you see here this is not in the time of Adam this is about today you Muslims if you have a daughter from adultery it is lawful for you to have sex with her that is Islam Islam is the only religion allow a Muslim a person to have sex with his daughter as long as she is a daughter he have from his girlfriend so if you have a Muslim boyfriend if you are a stupid woman who sleep around and you have a Muslim boyfriend and he made you breathe it you need to take a note that according to his religion it is lawful for him to sleep with you and with his daughter and the proof in front of you if we take this let me open Google translation most of you don't speak English anyway I mean Arabic let me open Google translation maybe we can get some idea about the translation here Google Translate. All right. Google Translate. We are here. I am going to copy the text live in the front of your eyes. Copy. Huh? Be my witness. Copy. Paste. Bingo. For sure, the translation will not be accurate. All right. Ibn al Arabi said the descent is mixing, which means the babies is descent of water of between male and female, according to the Sharia. So if it is coming from sin, it's absolute creation, exactly as I translated for you. But like you know, Google doesn't give a, a very accurate. And if it was not a valid preparation. Therefore, he did not enter and enter his saying your daughter. So because this is not a valid relationship, so it is not going under what the Quran is saying. It's forbidden for you, your daughter and your mothers. You see it? Because according to most accurate, correct opinion of the scholars, that it is not from Sharia, which means the relationship, so it is not the principle to share the law that false translation here the translation is mixed up uh, what it says in Arabic simply because it is not from Sharia it's not lawful so it's not forbidden for you to have sexual relationship with your daughter let us let us copy this part here alone hmm. Let us copy this part, make it shorter. Uh, this is the most important part. We go to Google, let us zoom in so you guys can see better. Based. It is not haram for you to do zina with your daughter and the mother. <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> do you see it? It is not haram to do zina with your daughter and your, and her mother. Fornication in Islam with your daughter, as long as she is a daughter from a girlfriend, it is halal. And this is stupid. He want to show me incest in the Bible. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? Any comment? They have a big mouth about speaking about things, but they have all the diseases in the world. You see, when I, when somebody says to me, uh, as an example, they say to you that Lut, his daughters, they step with him. So, is the Bible praising those daughters? Did God say to them, pray, sleep with him? The Bible is an honest book, re report history, what those people did. And it says, why did they do that? But it's not God who told them to do that. 
here we are showing you your religion opinion your God opinion that you can have sex with your daughter it is not forbidden for you so there is a huge difference between someone he slept or she stepped with her father this is not the teaching of God in Christianity and this is not the teaching of God in Judaism this is what people did your prophet he slept with his own daughter-in-law and he forced his son to give her out for him and in the heaven of Allah all the Muslims will have sex with everybody whatever is forbidden in earth is not forbidden in heaven this is what the Muslims believe whatever you wish some Muslims car they say no you will not have sex with your mother but you can have sex with your niece <laughs> you can have sex with your auntie you can have sex with your grandmother really I mean that's it supposedly now it's better They speak about things, accuse you with things. This is what the Muslims do. They accuse you with things, but the fact they are the one who have it. Anything the Muslims accuse you with, they do have. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you about the Prophet. He said that uh, seek knowledge even in China. Your Prophet, he was a scientist about the bathroom. And his science was very funny that if uh, uh, shaitan when he hear the adhan he starts farting that is the science of your prophet don't tell me that your prophet he taught you science stop lying to yourself what kind of scientist this guy who want to encourage you they fabricate hadith about muhammad saying something but the but, but the guy he did not say it if you want to see what muhammad said about science go and 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 and, and read and laugh Shaitan he fought. I mean, what kind of a prophet is pro imagine guys? Jesus he said to us, Shaitan fought when we pray. <laughs> Who is going to follow this Jesus if he said that? Who in the world want to follow someone he's saying that? I mean, are you sure? Muhammad, are you sure? Shaitan fart because we are praying. So you are telling me there's a connection between the fart of Shaitan and the prayer for Allah. We say Allah, he fart. Hey Shaitan, what are you doing? Oh, they say Allah, I cannot stop myself. I have to fart. What? When Shaitan hears the call of the prayer, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Shaitan, you know. Do you really Muslims believe that Muhammad is a prophet? Do you really believe that someone he says such a stupid statement is a prophet? What's wrong with you? Hmm? I mean, Muhammad for sure he have extreme knowledge. I think Muhammad he have a two PhD in farting and one PhD in diarrhea. Uh, con, con. If you don't stop those icons and those, you know, you are acting like a kid. I'm going to ban you. You like it or not? I don't care. We like here to have adult. Stop posting those stupid icons. Connie. You're acting like a kid. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Any Muslim want to say something? The knowledge of your prophet is beyond, not astonishing, is beyond farting. This is a prophet of God. Imagine yesterday we were listening to President Trump, and Trump, he stand, and there's a three, four hundred or five billion, Muslim, a million people listening to his speech, 
and for sure all the world he heard the speech of Trump this is the president of USA imagine Trump is saying to us when we American we call for pizza shaitan he fought I mean people will fought at us from laughing Imagine Trump, he says, when we American, we call for hamburger, shaitan, start farting. Hamburger, McDonald. This is a prophet of God. I'm calling, I'm calling this guy. He said they want to challenge me. <clears throat> Just for fun. I don't know if he would answer or not. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? <laughs> 19 miracles. Guys, look what this guy is showing me. I told him, answer me. He says to me, 19 miracles. Do you believe it? <laughs> 19 miracles. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello. What is the 19 miracle? What is that? Yeah, okay. Now I'll explain you the 19 miracle. Okay. All right. Losses in the Quran. Where? Where? where he, hold on. Slowly, slowly. Let me finish, man. You Just slowly, slowly, finish. slowly, one by one. Where in the Quran? Lost so we can open. So let me finish. Don't start the same badly. Okay? Yeah, but okay. where in the Quran? Don't jump. Don't jump. Where in the Quran? So Lost, we can open together. I I'll tell you, okay. Uh -huh. Let me finish. I'll tell you everything you ask. First, <coughs> miracle when you ask me, what is the 19 miracle? So I'm telling hmm. you, Allah says in Surah Mutahaddar. Mutahaddar? I never heard of Surah like this. Surah Mutahaddar 74. Surah 74, Allah says. But I, no, no, say it again. What is the Surah? Chapter 74? Yes. Okay, what, what is the name? What is the name? Mutahaddar. I never says, heard of this before. Okay, it's read up. Are you saying it correctly? If you, if you've never. No, no. Are you are you saying the name correctly? Are you saying the name correctly? Yes, I am. With the head there. No. Yes. I no. never, I never heard of this. So now. Oh, you mean yes. al mudathir al mudathir yes. What mudahed there? Yes. Come on. Okay, al mudathir Okay, let me teach yes, you. Yes. All right. So yes, what it says no. there? Okay, I'm, I'm listening now. Okay, now Allah says hmm. there was a person. He heard the Quran and Allah was interpreting what he was thinking in his mind. Mm. So Allah said, indeed, he thought and he contemplated. Okay. So may he be destroyed for how he thought. Now, after that, Allah says, over it is 19 angels. Allah will drive him in, into succor. Mm. So over it is 19 angels. And then Allah says, what 19 is? Allah says, mm. 19 is a trial for you disbelievers. It's a trial. It will shock you. And Allah mm. says, that 19. Where, where is the is, word 19? Can you show me, please, first? Aleha is that Allah says, Where, where? Which verse? Which verse? Which verse? Yeah. Okay. Which, what, where, why are you reading? We'll bring it up. Huh? Surah 74. Yeah, hang on. I'll bring it up. Mm. Surah 74. Mm. Then I'll tell you how nobody and man can get up with. Produce something. No problem, like no problem. But, but what, what verse? What verse? Show, show me the verse first. Yeah. Okay, so in verse <laughs> in verse 30 of chapter 74, it says, hmm. Alayhi ha tistata asher. Okay. It means over it are 19 angels. Okay. Hmm. Oh, after oh, uh, that, okay, over what? There are, the verse, uh, okay. Says, over it, over it, there's 19, 19, 19 what? Angels, 19 what? And we have 19 what? There's 19, 19 what? Angels. 19 it angels. Just says, okay. Oh, it is 90. It never says al-malaikat. 
and Allah says, Allah says, oh, is 19. Hmm. So now Allah says, this is a trial for you, okay? This will shock you now. Hmm. This will increase my faith. Hmm. And will leave no doubt to the people of the book. Really? So this is what 19 means. Then okay. if you read further, it says this is the greatest. In verse So, okay, what 19 mean now? I, I'm not shocked, okay, really. I'll I'm not shocked. Uh, Let's go to the... Because Allah has a challenge in the Quran. Allah says, فَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِرِي بِنْ مِمَّا نَزَلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ فَاتُ بِسُورَةٍ مِنْ مِتْلِهِ أَنْشُرْدَ حَيْنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Allah says, if... If you're in doubt in what we have revealed, then bring one chapter like it. Well, this now, is this is hold on, hold on. But don't you remember that Muhammad he received satanic verses and Muhammad himself accepted the satanic verses? Okay. okay so how, does, how Allah? Okay. How Allah? Hold on. I, how Allah? Whole, let us talk. You know, I, I listen to you. Hold on, just a second. You know, we will talk. We will talk. You will talk, and I will talk. Now, come on, just you know, sure. let us have a conversation. Okay. okay. How okay. Allah he says make a Quran like this, and then he says to us in the Quran that Allah will delete from the Quran what Shaitan he gave to Muhammad. How this will happen? Your point? How how how? Allah he says you just say that if you can produce a Quran okay. like this produce okay. right okay but, in uh, Excel okay I have made a software in Excel you can go to amazing 19.com no, 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 no this is another question answer the question first how you just say to me answer answer don't jump oh, what Excel what Excel what Excel what 19.com yes. Abdul listen listen I'm asking you I'm asking you you can tell me about the software no problem I want you to tell me now how Muhammad received shaitanic satanic verses how Allah you you see guys he just got busted he just got busted he just said to us Allah he changed Nobody can make satanic verses, and we find the Quran. Allah Himself exactly. confirmed that Allah Himself confirmed that Shaitan He gave Muhammad satanic verses. So how nobody can make That's verses like funny. Allah and Allah Himself saying, "I will take what all Shaitan He put in the Quran." How Muhammad He made Quran coming from Shaitan? Okay. Answer. Relax, I'll answer you. Answer. Relax for a bit, okay? Mm. You're saying the satanic verses, okay? For mm. example, Satan mm. does was was. It's in it's in Surah Nas, the last chapter. Mm. It says, "Close be the nas, Malik in us, Lahi nas, Minchil was was il khan nas." This is Arabic. Are reading now? This is Arabic. Are reading? Are you reading Arabic now? Are you reading? Are you reading Arabic for me? Every human gets. So this, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you read for me is that Arabic? Is that is that Arabic? You better let me finish. But, but no, I didn't understand finish. what you are saying. Well, don't read Arabic if you don't have no Arabic. This is not Arabic, my friend. Now listen. I don't care about the was was al khannas. This is stupid, actually. What was was? Here, okay. the prophet he received satanic verses. He received satanic okay. verses. He delivered satanic okay. verses, and the angel came to him after three weeks, saying to him, "Oh, Habibi Muhammad, those are I'm satanic verses, Muhammad." Listen up, I'm telling you, right? Uh. Okay, the satanic verses. I challenge you. I made a software in Excel, like nine. Uh huh. I got I got the software issue now. Right. Answer me about satanic, satanic verses. Ask me. Ask, so answer me about satanic verses? verses. Okay, how many verses were there? Satanic this is not the question. This is, this is not the question. Even if it's one, even if it's one word, I don't care. Allah, He said, nobody can make, nobody can make Quran. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, I will make Quran now. I challenge you to tell me that this is not a, not a good Quran. Exactly. Do you accept the challenge? Okay, hold on. Did you, did you make did you make a challenge for me? Did you make a challenge for me? Did you make a challenge for me? Listen. Did your God Allah say it? nobody can make Quran like my Quran? Listen, listen. I will make Quran. Hold on, hold on, guys. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up, don't talk. You just said nobody can produce Quran like Quran. Give me a chance. I will make Quran. And I challenge you to prove me wrong. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say, Abdul? I will make Quran. Do you accept the challenge? Do you accept it? Allah is giving you a challenge for Okay, I will make Quran. Listen to me. I will make Quran. I will make Quran. I will make Quran. I will make Quran. Hold on, listen to me. And you tell me if you and you tell me if this is Quran or not. You tell me if this is good for you or Allah can do better. Listen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I will make Quran. I will make Quran. Listen carefully. ثم قبضناه إلينا قبضا يسيرا وهو الذي جعل لكم الليل لباسا والنوم سباتا وجعل النهار نشورا وهو الذي أرسل الرياح بشرا بين يدي ورحمته وأنزلناه من الماء من السماء ما طهورا. Do you accept this Quran or not? Do you accept my Quran? 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 Okay. Listen. Okay. Do you accept my Quran? Let's judge. I'm asking judge, you, right? did you accept the Quran I gave you? Yes or no? Do you like my Quran? Let's judge it, right? Let's do you, judge it. Do you like course. my Quran? Do you like my Quran? It, bro, let's judge it. Let me answer you, right? Let's judge it, right? Mm. So you've given this, me this passage, right? Or right. mm. the first verse, the Quran has Bismillah Rahman Rahim, the first verse. This has four words 
19 letters and this is not the question you said to me can you make quran like this i made quran do you accept it or not can you accept the quran the, the one i gave you the one i made do you accept what i made right now yes or no this is abdul what's wrong with you stupid what's wrong with you what's wrong with you you just challenge me you tell me later about the 19 we will continue you just said you cannot make quran like quran so i made the quran like the quran i'm asking you now do you accept the quran i gave you or it's wrong What's the numerical value? Let's do you accept do you accept the Quran I gave you or not? No, I'm asking you. I you stupid Abdul. Do you accept the Quran or not? Okay. Do you accept what I gave you? I gave you I gave you Quran I made. Do you accept it? Is it good or bad? One second, where is it? I just I let me okay, let me read again for you. I will say again. You know, I will make Quran. You make a challenge for me to make Quran like this Quran. I will make Quran. ولقد صرفناه بينهم ليذكروا فأبى فأن أكثر الناس إلا كفروا ولو شئنا لبعثنا في كل قرية نذيرة فلا تطيع الكافرين وجاهدهم جهادا كبيرا. So do you accept the Quran I made or you don't accept? Okay, okay now to accept what you've made. Yeah. We need to first just the quiet read of the Quran. Okay, one second. So do you accept or no? You scared? That's why you interject. Do you accept or no? Either you say yes or you say it's bad. No, no. Okay, no. so no, you don't accept. Why? Why you don't accept? Why you don't accept my Quran? Because, because I'm judging it. Because the first verse does not equal to nineteen. Uh -huh. the numerical, the okay. Bismillah now let me show you how stupid you are. You, you stupid oh, donkey! Okay. I was reading for you from the Quran, and this is the verse I was reading. Guys, do you see? This is stupid donkey. He just said to me he don't accept the Quran. I was reading for him the Quran in front of me. Do you believe it, this donkey? Sequence of words. Do you believe it? Do you that believe it? He just said no. He don't accept the Quran. Did you just say? Did you just say I don't accept the Quran? You you stupid donkey. You you said I don't accept this. You said stupid, stupid. Shut up. You said you don't accept what I gave you, but I was reading Quran for you, you donkey. I was reading Quran for you, and you said no. This is not right. No, no, I don't accept. No. You, why you don't accept? Because you are a donkey. This is Quran. This is the chapter 54, 25. I was reading from verse number 50, 52, 53. What's wrong with you? Why you don't accept the Quran? Because you are a donkey. Because you are a donkey. Because you are a donkey. Of How dare you to reject the Quran? Answer me. How dare you to reject the Quran I gave you? How dare you to reject the Quran? Hey, br 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 radio memory. station, radio station, answer. Why you rejected the Quran I gave you? Stupid. How you reject the Quran I gave you? You're done, you're finished. Why, why you reject the Quran I gave you? Huh? I'm recording right now. You're yeah, I'm recording. You're on YouTube. People will laugh at you. You just, you, you, you just, you just, you stupid donkey. You just refused the Quran I gave you. This is real Quran. This is real Quran. This is real Quran. How many people memorized it? What million people memorized mine? How much when people memorize your chapter? Just go stupid idiot. <laughs> Guys, I gave him Quran. He said he don't accept it. <laughs> Just because I I made Quran, I told him, you know, I told him I made this Quran I made. Do you accept it or no? He said, No, 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 I don't. Because it's not valid. No. I was reading the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have more fun. Hold on. I'm not done. <laughs> Hold on. Where do you go? Where do you go? Hold on. Are you there? Are you there? Why why you reject my Quran? Honestly, tell me. Tell me, be honest. Why you reject the Quran I gave you? Okay. Why you okay, reject look. it? Why you reject it? How many people how many people memorized it? Tell I don't care. Why you rejected the Quran so, I gave you? I want so, an answer. I want okay. an answer from you. So, why you rejected the Quran I gave you? Why? Why, why you don't want to answer? What's wrong with you? Why we are talking now? Why we are talking if you don't want to answer? Why you rejected the Quran I gave you? This is the Quran from Allah, you idiot. Difference between a hit movie and a flop. Shut up! Stupid idiot, donkey. You believe it? He rejected the Quran I gave him, but I was reading for him these verses in front of us. I was reading for them from the Quran. Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? And the miracle of number 19, I I, I got this uh, the, this miracle busted. You see, the guy who made the miracle of number 19, the Muslims even killed him. The guy, his name is Rashad. He was killed in Arizona in his kitchen 
for he have to delete verses from the Quran in order to make that work. And actually, even if he delete or not, we can get this miracle 19 busted in two seconds. You see, if you have my book, how many of you have my book, The Deception of Allah? How many of you have it? Go, you will see there are all the details. They lie. They say to you the chapter, chapter of Al Fatiha, had the first verse is 19. It's a lie. It is a lie. The problem with this guy, he will not even let me talk. <laughs> He's like, hold on. <laughs> oh boy and the Quran I gave him it's not good but I was reading for him from chapter 25 verse number 50 51 53 he don't like it this is not good Quran for him because he thought Christian Prince is making Quran just because I told him I'm going to make Quran for you now just because I told him I'm going to make Quran for you He said he's recording me. You edit. I'm. I am posting this in face in in in, in, in YouTube. I, I am the one who was recording it. You edit. I am the one in public. <laughs> he's recording me. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. Oh mommy. Can you make Quran like this? But this guy is a Pakistani. He doesn't speak Arabic. How you will know if I make good Quran or not? And I just get him busted. I read for him Quran. He said he don't like it because he thought I'm the one is making Quran. All right. Oh boy. My lover scared the shit of you. Well, uh, why you are here, my friend? You better go home. Sleep. All right. We don't want you to get scared. Next time, don't come here without your mommy. Do we have any Abdul? Uh, no, today we are just in uh, YouTube. Any Muslim? Any smart Muslim? Nobody can make Quran like this Quran, brother. Mm. And we gave him Quran. He said this Quran is not good. I just gave you Quran, you donkey. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think we have enough for today. We just wanted to have fun with you guys and just to, to answer those liars about uh, the prophet said, go and learn in China. You have a followers, a list of donkeys. You know, if, you, if Muhammad is the best of your saints, I mean, what kind of donkey is those who they follow this such as a science? If you are following a prophet, he teach you that each time you pray, shaitan, he fart. Shaitan, he take hair from your ass. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Shaitan, he in, enter inside your anus. Shaitan, he round himself around your penis. That is the knowledge you earn from someone like Muhammad. It is collection of stupidity. Do we have any Muslim? Final call. Mayday, mayday. Do we have any Muslim? A Muslim scientist is needed. How the Prophet knows that shaitan he fart when you pray Muslims? Allah told him that. Allah, he sent him a holy verse and the Quran says shaitan do fart when we pray. How Muhammad knew this? Christian Prince drink poison if you live I will become Christian ah hold on as long you mention that what about we ask Muhammad why he died by poison Can you answer because your prophet he said the one who eats seven ajwa a day there is no poison will harm him and your prophet in the Quran Allah told him that nobody can harm you neither genie or a human being but as you see, your prophet, he died like a rat by poison. What do you say? 
do you like to ask the same question to your prophet or this question only for me are you there mr. poison guy are you there Nikido what happened and uh, what his name naked Nico whatever your name what what happened do you want to say something to your prophet before he die he just drunk poison and now he's suffering for seven years four years and soon he will die do you want to say something before he go his tongue is coming out whatever he he swallow he 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 uh, he vomit so do you want to say something to your prophet before he go goodbye goodbye you want to say something he's dying the guy hey tony get some pizza to the prophet he's dying the prophet he ate some bad pizza i mean have you ever heard the muslim they say to us that allah he saved jesus from the cross there is nowhere allah will accept that his prophet will be humiliated are you kidding me what is more humiliation for a person to die from poison after four years? Hmm? How come Allah want to save Jesus? He don't want to save Muhammad. Why? Muhammad is just nothing. He's a stupid donkey. What? You have no value for Allah. So Allah, he sent the limousine. He sent his angel to save Jesus. He cloned someone like he made to make. He have to make a conspiracy hmm? to save Jesus. But when it's come to Muhammad, he do nothing. He's just watching Muhammad dying like a rat. What happened to Nikki Nico? He's dead now. He playing dead. You see, the second you start talking to them, they play dead. Or either they speak too much, they say nothing, like the guy we, we hang up on him, or this guy here. Suddenly he don't want to talk about it. And the funny uh con, not that time, not that time. I'm going to ban you. Because I told you many times, don't act stupid. You are an adult, but you are a kid. What's wrong with people seeking some attention? Look what your prophet he he did to himself. Allah Apostle said, "He who eats seven ajwa, dates every morning, will not be affected by poison." What the doctor himself he could not <laughs> hey uh, Abdul what about you eat seven ajwa and you drink poison in YouTube and let us see if your prophet is telling the truth who is the Abdul want to do that for sure I don't advise you this is dangerous by the way this is can cause death don't be stupid your prophet here being stupid don't do that don't do that You know the Muslim they say the Bible verse there is a there is a verse in the Bible says that the believers there's nothing can 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 you know can destroy them no poison no death this is about we are going to live with the Messiah which means you cannot you can kill our body but we are going to live forever the Bible is Jesus himself died in the cross is that correct guys we as a Christian we believe that Jesus himself died in the cross so are we better than Jesus so this is not what the verse in the Bible is speaking of but those who strip it, they have a big mouth. They don't want to, they don't even want to listen to what this is mean. They want to come with their own meaning. But here, you're a prophet speaking about real poison and real solution. That if you eat seven ajwa and you drink poison, nothing will happen to you. I want to see you Muslims practicing that. Let us see if your prophet is a true prophet or he is a joker. What do you think, Muslims? Do you really believe in Muhammad's statement or you think he's a false prophet? If you believe in his, his, in his statement, then why you don't practice what he said? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, this is Sahih Hadith. Hmm? Why you don't do it? Why, if, if, if one of you, if one of you have a bite of a snake, die, and, but yet the better one, he eat more than seven ajwa every day. Muhammad himself, he died by poison, but he is eating all day ajwa, not only seven. Where is the Abdu? What happened? Hmm? 
Look like nobody of the Muslims is convinced with their prophet's stupidity. And look, guys, Ajwa not only stop the effect of poison, it stopped the effect of magic. And the funny Muhammad, he was under black magic and he died by poison, which means he got both. <laughs> which make it more funny. I mean, this guy, he got the both of them. Not one. It looked like what happened to him to prove that he is a stupid liar because how you say to your follower if you eat seven ajwa nobody can control you by magic and nobody can kill you by poison but yet you were controlled by magic and you died by poison do we have any muslim No, I do not need to prove Muhammad is a poor is a is a <laughs> I'm not stupid, my friend. You do that, you do that. For me, already I proven him to be stupid and liar. I do not need to eat anything to prove since when you were I am not the believer, my friend. He is the one who believes in that. You as a Muslim believe in that, not me. So you are the one who believe in it. Follow it. I don't I don't believe in one word of Muhammad saying, I'm not stupid. Right. Anyway, I think we had enough for today. Uh, we just we wanted to have some fun uh, and answer the liars, Muslims. Uh, they always speak of, and as you see, you know, we, when we get a Muslim to call us, we got a guy. He's a radio station. He don't want to stop talking, and he will not even let me talk. Uh, no. Any Abdul? Last call. Maybe, maybe. Last call. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. I will try tomorrow to be online about 4 four thirty. But these days I'm really busy trying to uh, to finish uh, all the work. I'm, I'm, there's many things I'm trying to do. And today, as I told you, uh, we had uh, the the German book is ready uh, for those who they are those who speak German. So it's going to be on sale in Amazon very soon. So if you are a person uh, who speak German or you have a friends who speak German, please don't uh, hesitate to mention. Uh, uh, you know the book for them so they can uh, they can have their own copy until then one year will be back at 4 30 time 4 4 30 this is something I try to do every day but as I said it's it's uh, you know as you see it is summertime and people are out so like you know we are not getting too many and uh, for me, if I can get like now, I did it in different time because simply I can reach out for those who they are in Asia, as an example. You know, for them, it's now it's morning time. Uh, for us here, it's almost middle of the night. So like, you know, doing it in certain like in such a time, can re I can reach it to, to people from different, let us say, territory. However, I would try, as always, to do it afternoon around 4.30. But... I cannot promise. And the same time, as I said, it's not like before winter time. A lot of people come to the internet because uh, it's cold. Uh, people are not out. But the day now is long. People they go out. They have a barbecue. They do shopping. It's good. You know, God is good. I want you to go out. And uh, however, our knowledge will be there. If if you come in four thirty or you come later, here we go. Everything we said is recorded. The one who is really interested, he can listen to it. And the one who like to help us, he can download and share. Right? Very simple. Uh, but very few really they care to help us in what we do. Very few they care. Like what about one of you now? He cut, you know, he cut the video we made with this guy, and I read for him the Quran. He didn't agree with it. No, five minute video. Let everybody love. So, you you guys, you can do a lot of work. You can help me. Uh, like some people they say to me you why you deleted your video I did not delete my video by the way all of them they are there I just made them enlisted if you want to watch my videos go to patreon 
and I have my reason later I will maybe like maybe in private chat we can explain uh, 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 it is already in patreon go down or go in Facebook you will find all those videos go back to my post you will find all the videos there all what you need is just to click at the link you open it you can share it we did not delete any video all right anyway so I want to say thank you may the Lord bless you all for being here and until I see you I hope tomorrow again at 4 30 if I can I don't promise but I will try until I see you again may the Lord bless you all Christ is Lord and Islam is a stupid lie and it's a big false fat lie made by the devil for the foolish one and I will not follow such a stupid cult believe that shaitan fart when somebody pray you must be stupid idiot to believe in such a thing you must be stupid to believe that God will make you have an endless penis or a woman her ass is one mile you must be stupid to believe that God is going to give you 80,000 little boys to serve you God is not a child abuser and God will not allow such a such a thing to be in his heaven God is not a pimp who will provide you women for six by thousands who they are sex slaves this is not God this is a pimp from Las Vegas and he have no shame thank you and may the Lord bless you all. See you soon again.